Hola amigos, Dr. Martinez here, and today we'll be making the Cinco de Mayo Mezcal Old Fashioned. Make it my first non-whiskey old fashioned cocktail, but still following the definition of a stimulating liqueur composed of spirits of any kind, sugar, water, and bitters. Cinco de Mayo is an annual celebration held on the 5th of May and is also called the anniversary of the Battle of the Puebla. It is not the celebration of Mexican independence, a popular misconception, but instead a holiday celebrated in parts of Mexico and in the United States in honor of a military victory in 1862 over the French forces of Napoleon III. Ignacio Saragusa Seguin, a native Texan, led those outnumbered Mexican troops in a victory in Puebla. Now, it wasn't the end of the war, but a great symbolic victory for the Mexican government and helped bolster the resistance. Cocktail quiz time. If Cinco de Mayo is not the Mexican Independence Day, which day is celebrated as Mexican independence? Gotta stay tuned to find out. The U.S. has celebrated Cinco de Mayo since the end of the Franco-Mexican and the U.S. Civil Wars. It is a minor holiday in Mexico, and in many parts of Mexico, Cinco de Mayo is still a work day. Cinco de Mayo has evolved into a Mexican culture and heritage celebration, and the date is embraced more generally in the same way as other ethnic celebrations such as St. Patrick's Day, Mardi Gras, and Oktoberfest. Today, for our Cinco de Mayo Old Fashioned, we're gonna make the Mezcal Old Fashioned with the Gusano. Mezcal is Mexico's most traditional agave spirit and perhaps the most non-traditional in terms of drinking experience due to the extreme range in flavor. The term Mezcal is derived from the Nahuatl word for cooked agave. Now, both Mezcal and tequila are made from agave. So what's the difference between them? Mezcal is defined as any agave-based liqueur which includes tequila, but tequila is only made from blue agave. Mezcal can be made from more than 30 different varieties of agave. Basically, all tequila is mezcal, but not all mezcal is tequila. Kind of like all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. The mezcal worm, Gusano Rojo, is a moth flower that started appearing in mezcal bottles in the 1950s. A mezcal maker thought the stowaway improved the taste when he discovered the Gusano in a batch of his liquor. So he started adding them to the bottles, which became a marketing strategy. The worm is added at the end of the production process once the liquor is bottled. Mezcal gets its distinct smoky savory flavor because of how it's slow roasted in a pit in the ground. A little goes a long way and it is often used with tequila to make a smoky classic cocktail. So let's make the Cinco de Mayo Mezcal Old Fashioned cocktail and of course it will have the gusano. Ingredients for the Cinco de Mayo Mezcal Old Fashioned. Mezcal, reposado tequila, agave nectar, angostura bitters, orange bitters, orange peel, Luxardo cherry, mezcal gusano. How to make the Cinco de Mayo mezcal old fashioned. Start by adding one ounce of reposado tequila and one ounce of mezcal in a mixing glass. Add one teaspoon agave nectar, then two dashes of Angostura bitters, and two dashes of orange bitters. Stir into chill and strain into a glass with ice. Hold a lighted match over the drink and carefully squeeze the orange peel about one inch away to spark the oils. Then drop the peel into the cocktail. Optional, drop in the gusano in the cocktail. Garnish with Luxardo cherry and mezcal worm. Cocktail quiz time. If Cinco de Mayo is not the Mexican Independence Day, which day is celebrated as Mexican Independence? Answer, the Mexico equivalent of the 4th of July is the 16th of September, September 16th. So let's taste the Cinco de Mayo Mezcal Old Fashioned Cocktail. So okay, here we have the Cinco de Mayo Mezcal Old Fashioned. I'm gonna be honest, this is the first time I've had Mezcal, or at least the first time I can ever remember having Mezcal, so here we go. <laughs> well, as you can see, I really did like this. Um, I was a little bit worried about the mezcal being a little bit over smoking, overpowering this whole drink, but it's a very well balanced drink and I like it a lot. But time for that next part. Time to eat that gusano. So here we go. Crunchy, but good. I do want to take the time to remember our friend. Alex Garcia. Cinco de Mayo would have been his birthday today. Sometimes the good are just taking too young. To Alex Garcia, we miss you and you're always remembered. So that was a little crunchy, not a lot of flavor, but rather chewy. 
a um, little harder to bring down at the end there. Thank God I had a little bit more drink. But just in case, I have another one in here. So if you like this video, please click on the next video and please subscribe. Hola amigos and cheers.